Hello and welcome to Scrapping on the Fly. My name is Kristen and I am here with a 3 for the price of one uh, with Pink Fresh Friday, Christmas in October, and 30 Days of Sketches with Christie's Beautiful Life Day 25 from Series 16, the Double Sketch Series. And this exclusive sketch is by Stella Harris. And yes, you are probably seeing this for the first time a few days past the 25th and it's okay. <laughs> I am documenting some Christmas pictures from uh, Christmas tree hunting as well as celebrating my brother-in-law's birthday um, all around the season. And so I've got pictures for that. And for my Pink Fresh, I am using the Holiday Magic Collection. I have quite a few embellishments, alphas, all the things. And then I have some scraps and I pulled these two dark green uh, cardstock papers for my background. It is hard for me to work in something other than white, so I'm trying. So I got my papers, my embellishments, my pictures, and this two-page sketch. So let's see how this goes. So like I said, it's hard for me. I typically work with either a white background or a black background, and so using this dark green is different. Um, in the end, I really feel like I still need to add something because there's a lot of empty space on this layout. I'm trying really hard to just walk away because I know everything does not need to be like overly done. So the pictures on the left layout, as well as one of the pictures that's going on the right is going to be from our annual tree hunt. Um, I think I went almost every single year up until 2017. Um, the next year my dad had passed and things were just a little different. So, but when I was a, I mean, I remember going Christmas tree hunting as a child, like a little child with my grandparents and aunts and uncles and all the things. So riding in the back of the truck, all the, all the things. So I cut my pictures down to three and a quarter by three, well, three and a quarter inches high. They're different lengths, just fitting however I want them to fit or how they're going to fit best. So I'm pretty much happy with this layout right here. I wanted the paper to be seven inches tall. And so that's why I needed my pictures to be three and a quarter inches tall so that they would be six and a half inches together so I'd have room for gaps. So um, originally I had them at three and a half and obviously that would leave me no space. So I am trying to stick with the concept of the sketch that you can see up in the top left corner. It won't stay there because, you know, with double page sketches, it's hard to do that. Um, they do have the title in their blocked off space and I don't do that. I do put some wordy bits and like tags and stuff in there but my official title is that um, enjoying the season because it's not just Christmas. Part of this is celebrating my birth my brother-in-law's birthday um, which is you know a week or two before Christmas and we had been Christmas tree hunting that day. So it's all on the same day so it goes you know in kind with each other. Um, and I needed that many pictures to do, um, document. I have tons and tons of Christmas pictures, but I've, because of 30, uh, because of Christmas in whatever month this year, I pretty much don't have any in the last like <clears throat> 10 years to do. So like this is 2012. I had to go back away. Um, and I probably could get more if I went back to like, 2011 or 2010 but I just didn't I don't want to go any further back right now because I'm currently trying to finish 2015 no 2014 and I've started 2013 so I really didn't want to go too far back when I'm still working on other years um so I'm kind of doing them as you know like these sketches especially as they call uh, typically, I just work in one year plus the current year, um, but because with especially these two-page sketches, I don't typically do two-page sketches or layouts. Um, I don't always have that many pictures for one activity anymore. I try and kind of reel it in a little. <laughs> However, if you've watched any of my videos this month, you probably know I have a new grandbaby and so I've definitely taken enough pictures of him for multiple two-page layouts. <laughs> um, so anyway, but two, when I first started creating, and obviously I wanted to do Christmas in October um, and Pink Fresh uh, Friday, I wanted to pull some Christmas pictures. And this was the only year that I could pull enough and ended up combining the 
pictures for my brother-in-law's um, birthday. It's just him opening some presents, really. So on the sketch, there's a cute little banner that goes up in the corner. And I pull this little frame that says, Christmas is my favorite. But Christmas is my favorite is going... Um, was at the top of the frame, uh, the round frame. So I'm putting it in the bottom corner. There's not really anything there on the sketch except like a cluster. So I put that down there and then I put the just the decorative part up in the top for that space. And then I'm going to bring in some enamel dots to fill in a little, give a little color up there. So in the end, like I said, there's a lot of green space up at the top. A lot of green space. Um... I don't know. I mean, it looks like her sketch because she's got a lot of like gr red space in her sketch, but it's still, it's not my normal. <laughs> I like to fill space. And typically what I'll do, and had I thought about it, I could have, and still could, I could go in and splatter some like white or red or yellow or something up there with like some um, inks, but I don't know. I'm going to try and sit with it and see if I can handle it. <laughs> But a lot of empty space on a layout is not my norm. <laughs> so, but anyway, um, I just put this little cluster up here in the top right corner of the right layout where she has a cluster of embellishments there as well. Um, and her journaling is also in the grid, but mine is going to go um, on this little label in the bottom of the left layout as well as... Um, this little tag that's hanging over on the far right side. So because it's two events, I wanted a little space for each instead of just one journaling space. Plus my pictures pretty much took up the space I needed. So I build this little cluster up here with the word joy and a couple other embellishments, like a snowflake, a little circle for me to put the date, um, and then a little circle with a Christmas tree in it. Um, and then I'm going to journal about how this is our annual Christmas tree hunt. And then after that, we had my brother-in-law's birthday, um, dinner and gifts. And of course he always gets something silly for my dad. Cause my dad likes to do practical joke kind of things. So anyway, here is the sketch by Stella Harris. Um, what do you all think? Should I leave all that green space? <laughs> Should I do something? with it I'm trying to be okay with it I mean because I'd really you know every layout doesn't have to be the most eye-catching wild and crazy thing you need to break from your eyes I think I've heard state goddess which is Sandy say sometimes your eyes need something somewhere to rest and take a break so maybe that's what that green space is I don't know Anyway, I hope you'll go check out everybody else who already posted back on the 25th for Christmas in, Jul um, in July, in October, as well as Pink Fresh Friday and the 30 Days of Sketches. I hope you all have a great day. I hope you'll come back and see me again really soon. I hope you get a chance today to do something you love with someone you love and happy scrapping.